Good morning and happy Wednesday. My parents leave this afternoon, but they're still here for a while and Grammy went on a coffee run this morning because fall came to Starbucks yesterday and this is my very favorite drink that Starbucks offers pretty much all year round. It is the pumpkin foam cold brew. My dad always likes a London fog tea latte, so that's what he got, but my mom and I got the pumpkin. <laughs> We got the pumpkin cream cold brew, so we're gonna, I don't, you've never had it, have you? I have not. It's so good. Yum. Yay, pumpkin cold brew. <laughs> no, it's the inside, ready? Turn around, ready? Go. Whoa. Whoa. You're winning, you're winning, you're winning. Hey guys, it's been a couple of hours since I picked up the camera to show you that delicious pumpkin cream cold brew. So good, I could only drink about half of it, but the other half's going in the fridge for tomorrow. I don't know how well it'll keep, but yum. Um, my parents just left and are heading out. It was so sad to see them go, but it was such a fun surprise, last minute, spontaneous visit that they had, which was super wonderful. Nora just loves spending time with them, as do we, but she especially just, gosh, she just, because they just pour the attention onto her, you know, all day long. And they'll, like, if she asks to go outside, they'll, one of them will, you know, jump up and take her and walk her, you know, they'll go take walks and this and that. Anyway, she just has such a fun time with them. So I'm really grateful for that. And I'm glad they could come, and that was just wonderful. Um, Riley is home right now. He's actually rocking Nora down for her nap. He came home for a long lunch so that he could see my parents for a little while and say goodbye to them and we could see them off as a family. So they just pulled away and left here in the last 15 minutes or so. Um, so once she gets down, I would imagine he's going to head back up to the office. My mom and I sat around the kitchen table drinking our coffee this morning, both of us working. Um, both of my parents work remotely 100%, so they're both working at home a lot, 100% of the time. <laughs> a lot meaning always. <laughs> um, so it's great because when they are here, they can easily just open up their computers and whatnot and still continue to check in and get things done. Uh, my mom's job at this point is a lot more flexible than my dad's, um, which is why she comes down a lot of the time, just her for extended periods of time, and he can come less frequently. But ultimately, they both work remotely. So it's just been, it's just really nice. It's great. So now that they've gone, Riley's putting Nora down, he's going to head back up there. I'm going to continue to work a little bit more on my laptop this morning. Um, it's actually afternoon now. I think it's about 1 and then we'll see what this evening looks like. Once Nora wakes up, I'm not sure. Um, I would like to pop up to my office for an hour or so. Sometimes she's totally game for that and she loves it and she colors on my whiteboard and has like a great time being in a new environment. And then there have been, that's most of the time actually. There have been a couple of times where we get up there and she's not having it and so I'm not gonna stay up there for too too long. So we might try that this afternoon. We'll see how, we'll see where the wind blows us. But that's the story. So glad that they could come. Really had a nice time with them. And um, I appreciate them making the effort to come down here, even though it was only, you know, just a few days. It was still so nice. I've got this like curl horn situation going on. <laughs> there we go. Um, let me pull this back a little bit, just so I'm a little bit more in frame. Okay, it's about three o'clock now. Nora is waking up from her nap. She's up, but she's kind of just playing on her own and getting herself together. I just made some fresh brewed iced tea because I was craving it with lemon and I put a whole bunch of lemon in it. It just tastes so good, so good. When Riley was home um, for lunch after we said goodbye to my parents, Nora was napping and we sat and talked for about 30 minutes and we were just talking about the baby coming and whatnot and we decided together to go ahead and rent the Snoo bassinet. Hi, honey, you wanna come say hi? Yeah. No, okay. Um, which is this really cool bassinet that like helps soothe babies back to sleep when they wake up. And I have heard personally from a couple of friends of mine, like real life friends of mine who have 
purchased or rented a snoo, how incredible and amazing it is. The thing about it is it's very, very expensive. To purchase it, I think it's just way too expensive. So we're gonna try renting it. You have to rent it for a minimum of two months. So I figure, let's try it for the first eight weeks of his life. And if it doesn't work, then we'll send it back and we'll be done with it and that will be it. And if it does work, it would be worth the monthly rental cost for sleep. Because with Nora, although in those early newborn days, of course, there's definitely a lot of hours awake <laughs> um, throughout the night for parents and babies, she was our only child. And so when morning would come, I could lay in bed and hold her and we I could just lay around all day and hold her and nurse her and just rest all day long. Whereas this go around, it's gonna be a little bit different, um, which so many people have said, like having a second, third, fourth, you know, having any child after your first one, it just changes things so much because you've got another child to take care of. And so with Nora being as active, as active a toddler as she is, sleep and finding ways to make sure we get sleep is going to be real important. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, we're gonna give it a shot. Like I said, I've heard from some people that it's been just amazing. Actually, everyone that I personally know says it's incredible. Of course, there are people online, like reviews who are like, it didn't work for my baby. Um, but per the personal reviews that I've heard have all been glowing. So we're gonna give it a try. So that's what I've been up to, was just signing up for the rental program and figuring out what that looked like and like getting that going over the past couple of minutes. Now that that's done, I think we're gonna pop up. You wanna go to mama's office? Um, no. It's kind of like a maybe. <laughs> I think we're gonna go pop up there for a few minutes um, and see how she does. She's so cute. I heard her wake up from her nap, but she didn't, normally she, when she wakes up from her nap, I hear her on the monitor and then she knocks on the inside of her door for me to come open it for her to come out. And she didn't do that right away. And you might hear her clip clopping around the house and it's because she put on her boots. <laughs> so woke up, put on her boots, then knocked on the door to come out. Really cute. So that's what we're up to. We will see about the snoo. When that comes in, I will definitely have to share my thoughts on it. And you know I'll be honest. Um, whether we like it or not, whether it worked for Colin or not, um, if it works and he gets good sleep and thus we get good sleep, it would that would to me feel worth it. Of course, if the opposite is true, it's going back after two months. So we'll see. Wee! <laughs> Look at this cute girl who put her boots on all by herself. She's getting sleepy. You can see it in her eyes. You having fun doing her? So we're up at my office. We've been up here for... A little while we have gotten I've gotten some things done and she's been having a grand old time so the novelty hasn't worn off yet of this office for which I'm very thankful Whee! you ready to go home and see Dada mm. no <gasps> you're always ready to go home and see Dada that face, that face. <laughs> girlfriend oh mommy wipe your nose Hey guys, it is about 10 p.m. now and I just ate a little treat for the night. These things are so good. Let me show you what they look like in the container so that you can actually get a feel for, you know, what I'm talking about. Okay, the bottom part is yogurt and the top part has Oreo bits. And then I also, it comes with four of the Oreo kind and four of the M&M kind. And my mom used to buy these, the Oreo ones, every once in a blue moon when I was a child. And I loved them. And I saw them on the Walmart app when I was shopping last week and I thought, oh my gosh, that sounds so delicious. And so I bought them. And they have been such a good little evening sweet treat dessert situation. Like I know they're not healthy, but I feel like it's a better option than eight scoops of ice cream, 45 cookies, like 
I feel like we're doing pretty well with the yogurt situation. <laughs> so I will keep buying those. I think Riley's had a couple as well. Um, they definitely hit the spot. So I just had one of the Oreo ones and I am going to head to bed here in the next few minutes. It's been a really good day today. Of course, it was sad to say goodbye to my parents. They made it home safely, um, which of course is always a relief. And I did go up to my office as you saw with Nora and she was wonderful. She just, I think being in a new environment sometimes is really fun. Like as a kid, I used to think that kind of thing was fun, but she's still so little, but she just really enjoys it. Like I pull out a pad of paper and pens and I have markers up there and she'll play with that and she does the dry erase board thing and she'll move things around and I have a basket of like actual children's toys and she plays with that only sometimes. Today she did play with it. So all in all, it was great. I was able to get a little bit of work done and then I have work days tomorrow and Friday as well. I am going to go ahead and get in my PJs, brush my teeth, wash my face, and get in bed and hope for a really good night's sleep tonight um, so that I can be super productive tomorrow and get a whole bunch done. I have a lot of Etsy to do. Um, unfortunately, my assistant is not available to help tomorrow. Um, so that's totally fine, of course. She actually has something really exciting going on, but I will miss her. <laughs> I'll miss her company and I'll miss getting things done more quickly, you know, with having two sets of hands. Oh, hi, Colin. Woo! <laughs> His kicks are getting so strong. He's, he feels enormous. Um, so that that's that. This evening I did spend a few minutes looking and searching around the internet, mostly on Amazon, but a couple of other websites as well for some comfy loungewear sets that I can buy slightly oversized to wear postpartum, especially during those first two to four weeks where <clears throat> my midwives always say for the first week after you have the baby, you need to be in bed. For the second week you, after you have the baby, you need to be on the bed. And the, sec and the third week after you have the baby, you need to be around the bed. Basically, you need to really lay low for three full weeks. And then from there, still lay low, but you can gradually start to increase activity. Um, anyway, so last time for at least the first month, I spent most of the time in bed, on the bed, around the bed, you know, just laying in, in bed, nursing Nora, resting, watching TV. I ate most of my meals from the bed. Like I really rested it up. And so what I ended up wearing were pajamas all the time. So I was looking for some cute little loungewear sets where it's like basically PJs, but they like match. Um, so I haven't actually ordered any, but I found a few. And if I do order them, I will show you them because I feel like those would be perfect for postpartum and then I'll wear them as PJs after that. So anyway, just a last minute thought. It's after 10 o'clock. It's time for me to go to bed. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.